Okay, so I'm signing in right now to my my heritage results. I hate these. I'm having a bit of a trouble trying to log in. Ikes. Oh, shit, let me try and change the connection back forth. There you go. <sighs> it's annoying. Sorry, guys. Anyway. Going on through, Yeah, it's taken forever. God. Oh, see, Joseph again, at least. See my last name. So, you know, it's me. <laughs> It's taking forever, I'm sorry, but it's coming. <laughs> wow, it's just taking a long time to load this shit. Add the matches, uh, ethnicity estimate. Trying to put it in. I, excuse me, sorry. I want to show basically the um, communities because that's really important. So these are my DNA results. It, you add them up. It's going to be 83% African. If you want to add the North African, then it's technically 94.4%. Sub-Saharan African actually aligns with the 93% African or 92% African on Ancestry DNA, whatever. Um, and then, anyway, this was the important thing right here. Right at additional genetic groups. Oops. I thought, oh shoot, clicking on Nepal. Dang. Well, you guys saw what I was talking about. <laughs> Yeah, right here. So it says West Virginia, Virginia, Ohio, Kentucky, Creoles, and Louisiana. 
It's more specific here than Ancestry DNA. Ancestry DNA is a little bit less specific because look at it. See, it says French settlers in the other one. This one says Creoles in Louisiana, right? So that's why for me it's Creoles in Louisiana. It's the same as French settlers, I think. Um, but then it says Virginia. North Carolina isn't on here. Which isn't a shock because I don't actually have any family in North Carolina. So it's kind of weird that there's that there. But there is West Virginia, Virginia, Ohio, and Kentucky. So trying to say I'm Dominican. Um, I've shown you two sets of genetic communities. One on Ancestry DNA. One here. There is no place where it says anything about the Caribbean, anything about Latin America, or anything of that nature. It's all in America for me. You guys keep thinking the last name has to do with Ramirez, means that I'm Hispanic or something. It doesn't mean that I'm Hispanic. It doesn't mean I'm Hispanic. Um, I think my Spanish last name um, could actually have to do with more Creole last names actually because uh, you can have Spanish last names from your Creole side but yeah like it's kind of weird people are trying to act like I'm Hispanic or something but yeah my thing though is North Africa for me is said to be North African and then it kind of like is weird because it's circling Algeria and Egypt I think it's more, oh, I thought that was, that's just a recorder, okay. Um, I think it's more Egypt than Alge Algeria because most other tests that I've taken side more on the eastern portion of North Africa. Jedmatch does and 23andMe do, both of them do. Now, I want to show my 23andMe results as well. That is an 89.5% Sub-Saharan African Ancestry. Um, as far as African Ancestry, it's about 90% Sub-Saharan I mean, not 90% Sub-Saharan Africa, 90% African Heritage. Because you have my North African Heritage, it's 90%. So if you actually add African Heritage in all tests, regardless of Sub-Saharan or North Africa, I always get 90% or more. Now, some people might use this test to try and prove I'm somehow a little bit more mixed, I guess you could say, because the North African is higher. Makes me about 83% Sub-Saharan. But and most of the time, when a test has a larger reference panel of North Africa, they will try to argue that maybe. But... 83% isn't mixed, so, I mean, trying to do that would be weird, you know. Sometimes I've had people over-exaggerate the North African because I say that it goes down when North Africa is included on a large reference panel, but it's like, um, you can lie all you want. You can lie and say I'm 100% North African. Is it going to change anything? I'm still going to be 83, 80, at least 80% Sub-Saharan African ancestry. A Jed match is more so 80% Sub-Saharan African ancestry. That's the lowest I've ever gotten on a test. This is the second lowest. 23 and me is about the middle of tests. The highest is we gene and ancestry DNA. Ancestry DNA, I kind of feel like Mali includes a component of North Africa, so I never really know what is it, really, their percentage, if you exit that out, because I have a high percentage of Mali. Um, so, that's all I'm going to say in this video. Um, I'm going to be done, going to do the 23andMe results, and we'll be out of here. So, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, comment down below, and have a great day.